Today is Thursday, the 10th of November, and negotiations are now going on in full swing. We had a pickup yesterday with the U.S. elections and Mr. Trump becoming president-elect of the U.S. And that got everybody in a tizzy, but we're now back to normal. And I'm going to talk about the topic of loss and damage, which is a very important topic here in COP22, because a few years ago in COP19, uh, we managed to get an agreement on loss and damage, and that agreement set up something called the Warsaw International Mechanism on Loss and Damage. Um, that under that mechanism, there's an executive committee with 20 members, uh, 10 from the Annex 1 developed countries and 10 from the non-Annex 1 developing countries, of whom, incidentally, five happen to be from least developed countries with whom we work very closely. The executive committee have been given a work plan, a two-year work plan, with nine different items that include risk management, insurance, uh, uh, looking at migration and displacement, uh, slow onset events, non-economic loss and damage, and the ninth uh, of the list of nine items is to come up with a five-year work rolling plan uh, and all of that to be reported here in COP for a decision in COP22 in Marrakesh. The executive committee have submitted their report it's being discussed as we speak now. There are two issues about it. Firstly, part of the mandate was to carry out a review. They haven't really had sufficient time to do a thorough review, so they're asking for a bit more time to do the review. And secondly, the five-year uh, plan is not really uh, fully worked out. So again, uh, what we are talking about here is a framework that enables the five-year rolling plan to start, but to be fleshed out over the next year. And then next year in COP23, we would have a full-fledged five-year working plan. Uh, discussions are ongoing, uh, they're going well. Uh, one of the in contentious issues is always about finance, loss and damage finance, developing countries asking for it, developed countries very reluctant to provide it, except for an area that they are now willing to support, which is insurance. So the question is, can they go be beyond insurance? That's a question that we are still fighting for and pushing. There's one other element which happened last year in Paris, where we had this fight about loss and damage, and it was essentially about whether or not loss and damage and adaptation are the same thing. The Warsaw International Mechanism kept it under the Cancun Adaptation Framework, but in Paris we fought again to separate it out, arguing that it wasn't the same thing as adaptation, it was beyond adaptation. When we can't adapt, and then you have inevitable loss and damage, and you need to discuss that and come up with ways of dealing with it. So in the Paris Agreement we have a new article, Article 8, on loss and damage, which makes the WIM, the Warsaw International Mechanism, a permanent body, which it wasn't under the original decision in Warsaw, and it elevates the issue of migration and displacement and says we need to address this on a higher priority basis. And so there's a discussion around putting up, setting up a task force on migration and displacement. Again, highly contentious issue, but there seems to be some uh, growing consensus around the fact that it's, it needs to be addressed and a way to address it is coming forward. So we, I am still hopeful that by the end of the COP22 in Marrakesh, we will have a good decision on loss and damage where all countries agree to take it forward. That's a huge step because for many, many years the developed countries have been refusing to even address it. Now at least they're addressing it and hopefully in Marrakesh we'll be able to take a few steps forward in trying to take actions to deal with inevitable loss and damage. Incidentally, we, ICAD is going to be doing a, a side event tomorrow, Friday afternoon, at the university in Marrakesh on loss and damage. We do this at the COPS regularly. We did it last year in Paris and in Lima the year before that, where we basically bring together people who are beginning to start working on this, researchers, NGOs. It's a new topic. Not many people work on it. So we introduce them to the topic, uh, enable them to network with others, and that event will be tomorrow afternoon, and I, I may do tomorrow's vlog on that particular event.